Yo, what's going on everybody? We are back on the water. We have not been to this section in like two years, I think. Uh, so the Llano River flooded pretty bad again, like maybe two weeks ago. Um, so this is our redemption trip. Last trip we went out, we fished for three days straight and didn't catch a single thing. So I'm gonna catch something this trip. But last time we were here, this bridge was not here. You could load it up, come right down, get straight into the water. So they've made it much more difficult to get into the water, but nothing, uh, nothing we won't do to get on the water. Doing 15 miles for this trip. We got five miles today, five miles tomorrow. We might do a little more tomorrow because uh, the fishing's good like the last stretch, but everyone's getting their stuff loaded up. We got two guys removing the car to the uh, end. So, you know, one car takes the other car to the, to the end and then the other car brings the guy back. So we're doing our own shuttle here, but should be a good day. We got much better weather this time around. Last trip we were just, it was like chocolate milk. So it's supposed to be in the high 70s during the day and mid 50s at night. So I'll be sleeping like kings, but get you guys thrown up on the GoPro and hopefully the chow today. Say that sucked but it didn't suck nearly as bad as last time rivers up almost 100 more cfs so the that rapid is coming up right here uh, we took the right last time right yeah but if it's up high enough we should go left and run the rapid all right first rapid last time we could not run it because it was uh way too low <laughs> we didn't run it it was too low oh. so i think we're gonna try it this time just stay right and don't get pinned against the rock. We all, well, Fern had a little trouble, but the kayak wasn't exactly the best for this type of situation. It's a good flat water kayak, but all safe, no one tipped, and we can obviously get all of our gear, so that's a win. Uh, what bag? Brody has it. Okay. And I caught a fish. That took so much less time than the San Marcos River, it's not even funny. A fat ass god. Ugh. Thank God. So that's uh, very enlightening news that we can run these rapids this, uh, this trip. Like I said, last time we were down here, it was 100 CFS slower. And I mean, you could try and run them last time, but you would have just gotten out every five foot because you just gotten stuck, but look at this beautiful place. We're spoiled out here with rivers when they're full of water. Yeah, grateful that we've had some rain lately, so we're able to check off some of our other favorite rivers. We recently we've been kind of stuck to San Marcos, so we got to paddle about four and a half, five miles. We get, we got to put in work because we got here so late. But do a little bit of fishing, and uh, you know. If we catch in any big ones, make sure to show them to you. And then once we get to camp, we'll get you guys set up and show you show you where we're staying. You can see how high the water was like uh, three weeks ago. You know, a lot of debris and stuff gets washed up and stuck. So if we would have been here a few weeks ago, it would have been uh, a little bit different story. It would have been like what we were experiencing in San Marcos, but worse. I think we got another little rapid set. All right, this is uh, this one looks like a good one, boys. Get ready.
Ah. Oh, that get that whiskers, dude. Sorry about that. It's okay, man. I got jammed. Hey, it, it happens, brother. I didn't give you enough space on a thing. God, that was amazing. I didn't expect that. I was trying to hang on to you for a second, and then I started going backwards. I knew that was that was the end of it. Uh, oh, he, man. I got stuck and he had to go down backwards and flipped. So oh, the we're gonna drain his kayak. <laughs> Everyone's good. Lost. Well, we didn't lose a rod. We broke a rod, but got everything back. That was uh, that was a good rapid. The, the river is chooching today. Of course, camera's off. Biggest fish so far. A whopping 13 and three quarter inches. Not legal. Yep. I feel like I jumped off this rock right there and I had You think you could? Uh, it's deep enough, yeah. That small one. <laughs> you think you could get up it though? Uh, I don't know if I can get up it. Yeah. yeah. No, no, backside. You might be able to get up right here, Jason, actually. There's a nice little climbing spot. I'm feeling skinny, Tony. I'm feeling skinny, Tony. <laughs> Yeah. No. It was good. Woo! It's cold. Give me some space. It's shallow. thing and then you circle back and come into it. Nice. Once you come around the edge of this little rapid cut, there's a little cut. Shout out to Raymond here. He suggested I try this to tie all my camping stuff to paracord. Cast iron skillet, table, got the air pump, tripod, air mattress, she's wet, chair, I think last but not least, oh the tube is in the way, should be a tent coming back. Oh, it's stuck. All right. I have to figure this one out. Can I put some wood on it? Oh, wood it up, Woody. Woody the woodpecker. Wouldn't, wouldn't you believe it? Wouldn't you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> We got a huge shout out to Brayman for uh, the table, bro. The tapes. Yeah. We f love you and miss you. <laughs> no, I didn't wake up until you saw me wake up. Morning, everyone. Started day two. Had a successful night. Fernando smoked the brisket the night before and we reheated it in that skillet right there. You can see all the fat still chilling in there. It was super delicious. We had uh, green beans, brisket, and potatoes. Got a little chilly last night. How'd everyone sleep? Great. I was good. Uh, besides forgetting my socks for half the night. 
Brody's literally forgot everything this trip, so we'll find out what he forgets next. <laughs> tune in next time. T tune in next forgot. next update. <laughs> uh, it's about eight o'clock. We're gonna try and get on the water before noon today. That, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah. We made pretty good time last or yesterday, considering we got on so late. We got to camp by like 4:30 probably. Had plenty of time to set up. Here's the shooting range. We'll obviously take it down, but Fern and I had a, a sling off, if you will. I was giving Fern all the benefit of the doubt, and he still couldn't beat me. <laughs> uh, it was the winner. Oh, Jason, yeah, he went four for four on plinking. Um, we're going to make some breakfast tacos and then hop on the water. So. Cool, it's going to be some good breakfast. Fishing should be good again. I think it's like a little colder today than it was yesterday, but not too. I think it's supposed to be like 68 or something, but. It'll be another beautiful day. He's got antlers on the front and the back. Double antler boy. I like his little furs. All right, we're off. Day two on the water at 11, like 45. We are not very efficient in the morning. That's okay. The river's changing. All right, switching up the color, Fern. See if that makes a difference. Switching up the color. Going old watermelon red. But that's like steaky. It's like one of those catfish nuggets you made at the lake. Oh. Uh. Got rose ash. <laughs> did he caught did you tell him about that? No. He caught this fish. We were down at the yacht club and we got on my parents' e-bikes, like an electric bike. Go back up to the house and put it. I don't remember, put it somewhere, and we, he fucking dropped it. <laughs> is this a white bass? No. No, okay. I was like, yeah, we're gonna eat it. Touch it, touch it. <laughs> He's in the boat. He's a fat quad. Little chunker. First one for me. It took quite a while. I had to follow Fern everywhere he was going to get it. <laughs> Fern's killing it today. How big a boy is he? 14 and a half? Yeah. Nice. Fern's on fire, bro. Oh, oh that's, a stick fish. that's a good fish. I thought it was a stick because I saw a stick come up. He's almost three pounds. He's good out here, dude. That grass. Is that what you're fishing off that grass line? Mm -hmm. Probably should be throwing like a craw or something, man. We're gonna paddle up to HL Bluff and have a little lunch there. And then we'll start looking for camp, you know, within the next hour after that. So, good old rapid set right before. Well, not right before, we're like a mile and a half away. But the water's moving. It's really nice that we have to try as hard to make up miles.
show your face. Might have been the same guy that I hit the first try, but he didn't get stuck. Probably a little 12-er. 34-11. Already 4-11? Sorry, I look for... Uh, we need to look for a spot soon. So up here on the right, there's like, I think there's some... Looks like it's all gravel bar up on the right. Yeah. That looks pretty good up there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. On today's episode of One Match, One Fire. Do we make one fire with one match? I don't know. If we're lucky, we will. If not, the helicopter comes to take us home because we <laughs> failed. Well, if you don't have service, you probably don't have service. Well, I didn't even yeah, think we were going to Damn, One Match, One Fire. Episode complete. If anyone could do it, Jason can. That's some really so yellow smoke. Why is it so yellow? Yeah. The bird's nest, maybe? I shoot him. Did you put a peyote in Are there? you trying to put smoke signals out so that we get rescued? Let's all pump it up. There we go. Now something's caught on fire. The Chuchmeister 5000! This is camp for the night. Nice little rock gravel bar. Right next to this super sweet cliff here. So we're uh, getting camp set up. Um, like... Yeah, it's been overcast all day. It got, what time is it? Like 5.30? Yeah, it's overcast all day and it seems just, we never got any sun. Fishing was better yesterday. I think better better today, right? Yeah, we had better. The day is not over. We got a really good spot to fish. The water's coming through pretty quick right here. So we're gonna make fajitas tonight with uh, some veggies. Guys back there cutting up wood and just kind of getting the last finishing touches to camp set up, but. Pretty sweet little spot. This is like a building site, man. You have a lot of light here. Oh, the chicken still got a little bit left. <laughs> that should be good. I'm gonna get a little crispier on the back side. Oh, this has been so many times. Burn, you got it? I think so. Yeah, boy. Oh, I got that one a little twisted. My bad. I had to fuck that one up. Wow, that was kind of twisted to begin with. Yeah, there you go. We're just cooking it twisted, spiral style. Like you need the paddle. Here or something, like, just, like, just to get in the face of the weather. Oh, my heavens. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's mine. That's mine. I claimed that one. Good luck holding on to that. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck holding on to that. Okay. And then we're going to test them versus the skillet tortilla. The lonely skillet tortilla. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. The data, well, he never stood a chance. The data's pretty weak. <laughs> Alright, the veg is good. They're not, they're not Do we want to put them in the pocket and then we... Yeah, the party pocket. You got the party pocket right here. Oh, this one's up. Oh, yeah. What are you making right there? I am just I just fucking seared my cheese. Making a taco. I was going to make quesadilla, but I pivoted. Pivoted. Oh, look at that. I pivoted. Oh, man. God damn. Shit hit right. the spot so good. I appreciate you guys for cooking. Thank you guys. Jason, the Jason's been Jason. the cooker. Honestly. He's cooked every night. for two on kayak camping with it raining every day. <sighs> Morning. Day three. It's another overcast wet day. 
three of the guys slept on mats just outside of the fire and it's interesting how woke up to them the dealing with dealing with rain. I don't think we're uh, I don't think we're gonna get any more rain, but it's pretty overcast. It's got a gajillion miles on it. Much warmer today than it was yesterday. We were all wearing long sleeve shit, so nice little spot. Make some breakfast and then uh, get back on the river. We got like five and a half miles to do today. And uh, you gotta get off the river. Could try and get off the river a little earlier today than yesterday. See if the fish are chowing today. Look at those legs. He's just coasting. Oh, my hands hurt. My fingers hurt. Oh, well, oh. now your back's gonna hurt because you just pull landscaping duty. You're in my world now, Grandma. <laughs> You either go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. And here we go. It's 12.07. Yeah, we're really good at getting on the water late. There's like a blue heron following us the entire time. Is that a deer feeder? <laughs> Uh, no, it's like a fish feeder. Fish on a fish feeder. <laughs> That's weird. Why does it work like that? First strike. I had to get a fish feeder fish. It's like cheating. Gotta get in queue for the rapid. Going down rapid one or two? Oh, Jason's going down rapid one. How did it go for Jason? Flawless. Yeah, I've caught two every day. You're gonna make it through, right? Do what? If you caught two every day so far, you're probably gonna make it through. Oh. Yeah, I think you just did. Indeed, my friend. Oh, I was recording too. Not bad. Could even be my biggest for the whole trip. At 15. <laughs> Might be my biggest. <laughs> Only 14, but I'll take him. That's my second for the day. That's on par with what I've been doing. Another little fish. Little dinker. Oh, got a good one, Fern. A decent one, bruh. I got a catfish, bro. What? <laughs> what? Stop it. Are you kidding me? I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> Tasty? Is 
is when the confusion starts on the maze. It would help. It helped a little when it was sunny because you could see kind of the deep pockets. Don't get close while someone's choosing an adventure. Part one of the labyrinth complete. The next one is much longer. And it's probably going to suck extremely bad. It's like just the last tail of a worm. Another one, probably my biggest. Always at this little end spot. section to go through. You know, it took a lot less time to get here than it did last time. It was like two miles away the last time I looked at it. We made mincemeat of that little cropping. This is going to be a shit show here. People are going to be slipping and fall. We're going to have to just tie, tie, a leaf, out. tie a leaf to a leaf to a leaf and then we all pull. Yeah. Well guys, it's going to wrap up this week's video. We had a great time out on the Llano River. It was good exploring that section uh, with all the rain that we had recently been getting. It was a uh, kind of section that we wanted to check out again. Last time we went, like I said, it was super low. It was kind of a pain just to get down the whole river, just considering how shallow it was. And then that last little section, the little labyrinth, that was always a pain. And this time it was like 50% easier. We also chose a better route, so... If you ever do in that section you get to that labyrinth make sure you take river left gravity is obviously doing all the work so it helps to to utilize gravity but also a good good time seeing uh, jason it's always good when he comes down just happened to come down for his birthday and we happened to be going on a trip so he's right at home in my old ascend and then junior that was his first kayak camping trip and he did an excellent job he did a, he got hurt on that first rapid where he flipped but it was a trooper through the whole thing never really complained and uh, it was good having him out there but if y'all are new here, you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we will see y'all on the next one. Peace.